Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains, North Carolina. Today, ah man, I woke up this morning and there was some bad news. I'm going to do something I rarely do and that is film a video and then put it up the same day. Briggs and Stratton filing for bankruptcy. I don't know, man. I'm not an expert reading this stuff, but it doesn't sound too good for them. They are selling most of their assets to a holding company. That's usually not a good sign. Another iconic American brand down the tubes here today, it looks like. I myself uh, would not have become a mechanic or effectively become a mechanic if it hadn't have been for Briggs and Stratton. I mean, my first exposure to gasoline engines was with a Briggs and Stratton. And I think that a lot of guys and gals that get interested in becoming mechanics or just in tinkering in general, get their start on some kind of lawn equipment that most likely had a Briggs and Stratton engine on it. My very first experience, I would say fourth or fifth grade, with a little three and a half horsepower white engine Briggs from a push mower that we had, it broke. My dad got fed up fixing it and pushed it off to the side and said, play with it, what do whatever you want. And I got to take that thing apart and see how the insides of an engine looked. And that, you know, kind of the smell of the oil and the gas on your fingers and, and just, just the whole process of disassembling this thing and pistons and valves and everything else, that was Briggs and Stratton kind of getting me into this as a career field. Think about how many videos I've made just over the last five years that had something to do with a Briggs motor. Now, my garden tractor now has a, a, a Kohler engine, but my last uh, Husqvarna GT52 XLSI was a, a Briggs 27 V-twin. I've owned overhead valve, single cylinder Briggs engines, and of course the flathead uh, Briggs engines are used in, in go-kart racing applications all the way to this day. People can take a five horsepower Briggs engine and turn it into something that'll just scream. And that's part of the fun of it. And so it's just, it just really hit me hard thinking that all these years, I mean, we're looking at a company that's either a hundred years old or nearly a hundred years old. They're blaming it on, you know, the current economic conditions because of the global catastrophe, but I'm not buying that. This is something that's been going on in our country far too long. We have outsourced so much of what we build and do here to foreign countries that, that we're having problems now with even the most iconic, even the most uh, beloved brands in America going away. And, and it's not just things like, you know, lawnmowers and, and riding mowers. We've lost a lot of industry in this country because of that. And you can't stop progress, you can't stop change, so I'm not here to kind of complain about that. It's just it's just a sad state, and I, I worry about what future brands this country will hold dear once once things like Briggs are gone. You know, we've already lost uh, Tecumseh, and, uh, and think about like Murray folded, uh, I think MTD now holds the rights to it. Or no, actually, I think Briggs held the right to the Murray brand, so who knows where that's gonna go. But it's just, it's just tough, man. They're, they're a leader in lawn equipment. They even made some four-stroke boat motors for a while. I don't know if they still do that. But uh, as far as like your four-stroke, you know, small lawn mower all the way up through uh, large garden tractor motors and generator motors, holy cow, how many generators out there have a Briggs engine on them right now? It's, it's pretty stout. It's pretty, pretty high numbers. So Kind of a depressing video, something I wanted to share with you in case it flew under the radar. I know there's always a lot of news going on in this country, so uh, it can be difficult to see things that maybe we don't think generally involve us. But it really, the loss of a huge, huge company like that based here in the United States uh, is going to be felt. And, uh, and I think it's sad. So hopefully they'll be able to restructure, kind of come back, maybe narrow their platform down, maybe focus on two or three engines, a good single cylinder a good uh, V-twin and, uh, and go from there. But I, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not too hopeful. And it's, and it's, it's very upsetting to me, man, because it's been, it's been good. I think Briggs is, is probably the best brand of uh, riding mower engine on the market today. Some will say Kawasaki, some will say Honda. Those are both great motors, but buying parts for a Kawasaki or a Honda is going to be way more difficult and way more expensive than buying parts for a Briggs. You could go literally anywhere and pick up Briggs and Stratton stuff at hardware stores, local shops, or online. Ah, man, what a bummer. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms. I'll see you next time. Take care.